Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to render what you see on the screen as opposed to what you get in the render. Um, and I will explain here in a minute. So I had a, a student turn in this animation and um, she was not getting the render that you would expect. Uh, in other words, uh, when she went to render this animation, and I'll just render one frame. Uh, she would see this uh, and uh, why was it that she was seeing this I think she colored it in the shading mode viewport shading mode um, as opposed to in the print um, how would she get in the render view render view versus uh, shaded shaded mode uh, anyways she went through all this work uh, to render this animation and then whenever she would render out, it would look like this. Render uh, image, boom, it would, it would look like that. And so if, if only uh, she went to here, she would see what she was working on. Uh, but anyways, uh, I wanna show you guys really brief how to render the screen preview as opposed to the render settings. Uh, under view, uh, viewport render animation or viewport render image so it will render exactly what you see on the viewport boom there it is instead of what you are seeing or what you are getting in the render um, so there are no here in the render pre uh, in the render settings everything's right everything is right here except she would always get um, this image render image and even when we went out to um, render animation, this is what you would see. So again, view, render, uh, viewport render. Here it is, viewport render image. And boom, there it is. So hey guys, uh, I hope that this quick tip uh, video was helpful to you. And if you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you.